Denver Broncos side running back Latavius Murray off the New Orleans Saints practice squad on Monday evening after Javante Williams' season-ending injury. Will he play on Thursday night football? Plus, how does his addition impact the potential rotation at running back? You get that, our thoughts, and much more on today's brand new episode, Locked on Broncos. You are Locked on Broncos, your daily Denver Broncos podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team, every day. What's up, Broncos country? Welcome back into a brand new bonus episode, Lockdown Broncos, your daily Denver Broncos podcast, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team, Every day. Thank you so much to everybody in Broncos country who tunes in, makes Locked On Broncos their first listen of the day every single day, free and available everywhere you get your podcast and audio format, or whether you watch us in video form on YouTube. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe or that follow button down below so you never miss out on a day's worth of Denver Broncos news, content, coverage, and more from the South Stands to the end zone. I'm your host, as always, Cody Rourke, Broncos reporter from Mile High Sports, joined alongside, as always, by my co host, Sarah Bettinger, site expert, predominantly orange.com. Sarah, my friend, Breaking news, obviously, as Latavius Murray has signed with the Denver Broncos. Well, technically, the Broncos signed him off of the New Orleans Saints practice squad, which makes it the second Saints running back that they've signed in the last couple so months, considering Divino Zigbo off their practice squad, initially claiming him off of waivers. Tell you what, Sarah, Broncos might have something here with Latavius Murray, a name that probably we didn't think about at the top of things. Yeah, it's definitely a big name veteran coming in. Obviously, Latavius Murray has been doing this for a very long time, and he has familiarity with George Payton dating back to their time as Minnesota Vikings together when Payton was in the front office and part of drafting Latavius Murray out of UCF once upon a time. But obviously now, I mean, we, I remember we used to see Latavius Murray scoring touchdowns against the Broncos as a member of the Raiders once upon a time as well. So that'll be nice to have him in orange and blue, Cody. And really after Javante Williams injury, you, you can't necessarily replace a guy like that, right? But bringing in a veteran like Latavius Murray, who's coming off actually a really nice game in week four, even as a practice squad member, for the New Orleans Saints, he played against the Vikings in week four and averaged over five yards a carry in that game on 11 plays that he got the ball. So definitely, Cody, you feel comfortable having a guy like Latavius Murray in the fold going forward. And I think that's huge, right? Because it's not like a new guy. It's not like a, a, a rookie or like a second or third year player, someone who's young and inexperienced. I mean, we're talking about a guy in Latavius who has been in a multitude of systems. We'll get some information from Ross Jackson, host of the Locked on Saints podcast, a little bit later on here in this week. But I, I think everyone wants to know. Now it's a new addition of Latavius Murray. I mean, Broncos head coach Nathaniel Hackett mentioned it to us in his Monday press conference on the idea of bringing somebody in is that, well, you know, it, it's it's a tough offense to learn, but the Broncos have a teaching system. They have a technology where a new player can come in. He can ingrain himself in the technology. I believe it's on a surface or a computer, something like that, that the team issues to the players. And it's got a learning program in there that helps them learn the offense and shows them visual reps as to like this play call. What do you do on this check? What do you do on this audible? You know, what is their, your pass protection responsibility on this play? That's just a little bit of a glimpse into that. So using technology as the Broncos have tried to embrace this offseason to bring players along a little bit faster. And it's all about the execution part but Sarah as you mentioned he's fresh off of a game coming from London right so maybe there might be a little bit of jet lag associated hopefully that's not the case but I would say the expectation is that he probably could play on Thursday night football I think once we find a little bit more from Nathaniel Hackett today when he meets with the media on Tuesday if that will be the case or if they decide to just call up with Zigbo this week Divina Zigbo and then maybe next week going into the Chargers game roll with Latavius Murray but there's a bigger question. Sarah, I mean, does Latavius Murray now become the Broncos feature back for the remainder of the 2022 NFL season? Well, I think he's certainly going to be in tandem with Melvin Gordon, Cody. And like we talked about in the previous episode, we really want to see Melvin Gordon have to be in a committee, whether it was with Mike Boone and Divino Zigbo or somebody else that the Broncos brought in. Well, now we know specifically who that somebody else is, and it's Latavius Murray. And I have to correct myself, Cody. He actually wasn't drafted by the Vikings. He was signed by the Vikings or acquired by the Vikings at one point. He was actually drafted by the Oakland Raiders once upon a time in the sixth round of the 2013 NFL draft. I found that information as I was looking 
for another key piece of information that I think Broncos country will be very, very interested to know. Since 2018, Cody, which is obviously the 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 time frame that really matters here. It's the last five years, okay? So this is a large enough sample size to know kind of what he's bringing to the table. But 652 touches since 2018, only one fumble from Latavius Murray in that time frame. That is a key statistic that I think Broncos fans obviously can sleep well at night knowing that this guy simply does not fumble. I mean, one out of 652 touches is pretty good, and that's not just fumbles lost. That's total fumbles. So obviously Latavius Murray is a guy that you can rely on for ball security, and that may endear him to this coaching staff. Like you mentioned, Cody, you're going to have to kind of have a crash course on the offense, and can you play Thursday night? Well, can you just go into the huddle and say, hey, run through this gap or run through this gap? I don't know if it's necessarily that simple, but he certainly is a veteran who's kind of seen a little bit of everything. Now he joins the Denver Broncos, bringing that ball security to the table desperately needed for this offense. That is very big for the Broncos here. And I just remember against that, you know, the Kendall Hinton game, Latavius Murray ran all over the Denver Broncos, power through, wore them down. If the Broncos add that dynamic here with Russell Wilson in this offense and Latavius Murray can flourish a little bit alongside Melvin Gordon, Mike Boone, potentially Divine Zigbo, the Broncos offense could get right. It could get things rolling. Maybe. Maybe he's just the piece that they've been missing here in this situation. Obviously, coming off of the heels of a Javante Williams season ending injury. But Broncos country, how does the addition of Latavius Murray impact the running back rotation? That's something that Sarah Bettinger and myself dive into, and we want your thoughts on it as well, whether you're listening to your favorite podcast and provider or whether you're watching on YouTube. But before we do that, let me tell you about the sponsors of today's episode of the show, starting off here with Athletic Greens. And our next partner has a product that I use literally every single day. I use AG1 because many adults, and I was very guilty of this, don't receive enough vitamins and nutrients. And AG1 is part of my daily routine where I wake up in the morning I pour a 12 ounce cold ice cold glass of water I put one scoop in there and I get all the vitamins nutrients and minerals that I need to sustain a healthy lifestyle every single day and the special blend of ingredients supports gut health nervous system immune system your energy recovery focus and aging it also costs less than three dollars a day you're investing in your health and it's much cheaper than your cold brew habit or your coffee habit that I also have as well your subscription comes with a year's supply of vitamin D which is so important to add in these winter months that are coming where we don't get as much sunlight. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop of a cup of water every single day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash NFL Network. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash NFL Network to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance and our good friends over there at betonline.net they are your number one source for your football betting information this season you can find all these player developments team matchups news podcasts in-depth articles and analysis on every game that you can find and as always betonline remains your continued source for all your sport wagering information with live betting and up to the minute scores for every sport out there they're also the fastest and the easiest way to check in on all your favorite games and events including mlb mma boxing and golf head to betonline.net or use your mobile device to learn more betonline where the game starts all right sarah my friend as we continue on today's bonus episode lockdown broncos coming off the heels the broncos on monday evening signed latavius murray off of the new orleans saints practice squad and there's a lot of questions will he play on thursday night but more importantly we're going to dive into how does it impact the running back rotation thank you so much broncos country tuning in making lockdown broncos your first listen of the day Every single day, we appreciate you so much. Go ahead and interact in the comment section down below. If you're watching this video on YouTube, like the video, comment for the algorithm as well. Sarah, my friend, I mean, the question is simple. With the addition of Latavius Murray, with his experience, and with the repertoire that you added about not having a single fumble on over 600-plus touches since 2018, how does this impact the overall rotation, in your opinion? If you had to guess today, if you were Coach Hackett, what would your running back rotation necessarily look like now with the addition of Latavius Murray? Well, I think for Coach Hackett and from the Broncos' perspective, I think you're going to see Melvin Gordon out there with the starting unit. I don't want to super overreact to this move. Obviously, Latavius Murray is a proven veteran. But at the same time, Nathaniel Hackett's going to back up the words that he said on Monday and that this team believes in Melvin Gordon. He's a part of the team. And I think he is going to be out there as the starting running back against the Indianapolis Colts. But beyond that, 
it really could depend on which running back has the hot hand. And you, you kind of get the impression that the Broncos didn't just bring in a proven veteran, pluck him away from the Saints practice squad, especially after he had a good game for that team and didn't promise him some type of prominent role in the offense going forward, right? Because obviously he knows the Saints system and he's been with that team and he's somebody that they can rely on, even though he is a practice squad member for them, certainly somebody that they could have easily signed to their active roster roster as well but the opportunity in Denver of course you can poach guys off the practice squad but the player and their agent have a say in that or they can go to their current team and say hey this team's calling what are you gonna do obviously the Broncos made a convincing argument to get Murray into Denver which is big so to me Cody that all all that said I think that leads us kind of around this full circle to where Latavius Murray is going to have a big role in the offense maybe Javante Williams and him split 50 50 but what does that mean for Mike Boone? Because I know a lot of fans have seen Mike Boone in the explosive plays here and there over the last couple of years. They want to see Mike Boone more involved in the offense. What does it mean for him going forward? Well, I think it'll be huge too. And and there's also a scenario where maybe the Broncos like what they see from Latavius Murray and they have him back next year. As you mentioned, a kind of split 50-50 potentially with Javante because Mike Boone, free agent. Melvin Gordon, free agent. Devon Zigbo, a practice squad guy. I mean, right now, running back looks very scary for Denver. The outlook, I think having a guy like Latavius Murray makes things a little bit more realistic, calms your nerves a little bit. As we're recording this, Mike Kliss tweets out, probably unrealistic for Latavius Murray to play Thursday against the Indianapolis Colts. You know, they had a game, of, you know, London, short turnaround Thursday night football, doesn't know the system. Maybe, you know, maybe that is the expectation there. But he does say it does add long-term security for the Broncos at running back with a proven veteran, and we agree with him there. Now, Sarah, if I had to be in charge, okay, let's say he doesn't play on Thursday night against the Colts. The rotation for the running back spot, I still think you have to embrace the by committee approach as we've alluded to in yesterday's episode, Lockdown Broncos reacting to Javante Williams' season-ending injury. You do it with Latavius Murray. You do it with Melvin Gordon. And I think you do a little bit with Mike Boone. But I think you can specialize a little bit here, Sarah, because what did Mike Boone struggle with against the Raiders on Sunday in the loss? Drops and catches, especially past five yards down the field. Maybe you specialize him as that short yardage guy. Maybe you get him as those guys because he's a hard runner. We saw it in the preseason. Maybe get him some run there. Melvin Gordon, what can you do with him? Well, he obviously adds the best value, and I say maybe Latavius Murray as well now. You have two running backs now who are really good in pass protection. That, to me, I think is a huge security blanket for a guy like Russell Wilson who needs it. So I'll be very intrigued to see how the Broncos and Nathaniel Hackett get creative with this rotation here at the running back position with now the addition of Latavius Murray off of the New Orleans Saints practice squad. And we'll have coverage here on the Lockdown Broncos podcast leading you up to kickoff Thursday night. We'll have the Thursday crossover show. We'll have the Thursday night Lockdown Broncos post-game report after the game against the Indianapolis Colts. Friday reaction as well, including a Nathaniel Hackett press conference. We'll see what happens with the Broncos this week, Sarah. A lot of things in movement. The Broncos sit at 2-2. Two and two. One thing is for certain, though. We have you covered every single day, all year long, whether the Broncos win, whether they lose. Thank you for making Lockdown Broncos your first listen of the day every single day, free and available everywhere you get your podcasts in audio format. Sarah Bettinger and myself will be back tomorrow for a brand new episode Lockdown Broncos as we react. We hear from the coordinators. We hear from Coach Hackett. We hear from Russell Wilson ahead of Thursday's matchup against the Colts. Then Thursday crossover Thursday with the hosts of the Locked On Colts podcast. You get it all here this week. Locked On Broncos.